So are you excited to film this new video, Furby? Was that from Hamilton? What's your name, name? Oh. Guess not. Hi everyone, I'm Chloe Condon, and today I'm going to teach you how to hack your Furby Connect. So the 1990s were a really popular time for pop culture and trivia, and as someone born in 1989, please save your eye rolls. We have no control over when we were born, and yes, I do love avocado toast. I have a bizarre, overwhelming nostalgia for Nicktoons, Disney Channel original movies, straight to VHS Olsen Twins videos. <laughs> But of course, back in our day, we didn't have Hulu or Netflix, we had cable TV, which meant commercials, which meant brainwashing us into thinking we needed the newest, coolest toy that was being advertised us between episodes of Rocco's Modern Life. I am the cheese. I am the best character on the show. True fact, I do not know my partner at three years' cell phone number who I live with, but I do know all of the lyrics and the song to this Nano Baby ad. And with the 2000s and Y2K just around Riverbend, yes, Pocahontas was 1995, it seemed like toy companies were trying to create the newest, coolest gadget that kids of the new millennium would like. Seemingly overnight, we went from American Girl dolls, Polly Pockets, Mighty Maxes, and Beanie Babies to things like Teddy Ruxpin, Tamagotchis, Poochies. Does anybody remember those weird robot dogs everybody had that one Christmas? Which brings us to the Furby. The hottest toy of 1998, although this is a different version. I seriously remember going to Toys R Us with my mom at 7 a.m. to get a little dude like this. And as an only child, I loved my Furby like nothing else. It was basically my sibling. Who can forget the struggle of having to shut your Furby in a towel closet when it wouldn't shut up, and then you needed to make it go to sleep, and then your dad found it in the towel closet a couple hours later and thought that some creepy guy was in your towel closet. No one else, just me? Okay. Furby, eat those separately. Batteries not included. Needless to say, Furbies were very, very popular and with good reason. The first generation of Furby back in my day had an infrared port on his forehead and it allowed it to communicate with other Furbies. So if your parents were incredibly wealthy or maybe they knew a dealer because they were very hard to get, or maybe your friend had a Furby, they could communicate between each other. Then came Furby babies, Furby friends. I purchased an ET Furby when I was in college and then sold it again for a lot of money. They also had a bunch of weird emototronic Furby, Furby party rockers, 2012 Furby Furby Boom, Furby Boom Crystal, Furbaka. Yes, there's a Chewbacca Furby. And most recently, in 2016, the Furby Connect, which is what I have right here. And with each new generation of Furby, new features, new technologies were added, such as apps and um, that you can use in your Android and your iPhone, and LCD screens, which you can't see on him, but his eyes are LCD screens. And while I haven't stumbled across my original Furby yet, I do have my original Teddy Ruxpin and a huge box of McDonald's and Burger King toys. As someone whose aesthetic is quirky, crafter, who loves reclaimed wood but also learned how to code, it's been on my to-do list for a very, very long time to make my own kind of Furby project. I've seen a lot of really cool things be done with Furby taxidermy and, you know, taking the fur off of a Tickle Me Elmo and I find it fascinating. So I'm gonna give you some basic instructions on how to do some very, very basic things with your Furby to start out. There's also a blog post if you wanna check that out. I will link it below. This was all made by another human on the internet. Um, he has a YouTube video as well that I'll also link. And there's also a GitHub repo that is gonna be very, very helpful throughout all of this that I used through this walkthrough. So you'll have to have some basic programming knowledge um, to be able to attempt any of this. If you're brand new to programming or have no idea what a terminal is, find a buddy. Have them come over, have, have them use their dev environment to, to have sort of a Furby hacking day with you, maybe troubleshoot with you a little bit, maybe learn a couple things about programming, and then you can pay them back in Chuck E. Cheese tickets or something. That seems appropriate with Furby. Okay, so let's get started. Um, you will need the following to start hacking on a Furby. You will need a Furby Connect. It must be a Furby Connect. Um, none of the other Furby models have this open Bluetooth connection you'll be able to work with, and you also need 
a computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to install Fluff D and Fluff D Client. Um, I would recommend turning your Furby off, and by off I mean take one of its batteries out, otherwise he's going to be whining for attention the whole time that you set this up. Okay, your Furby is off. Great. We are going to use Fluff D to control our Furby with a Bluetooth connection. It's based on Node.js. It uses Noble in the background. Um, you will need Node.js version 7.0 or later to do this. And the installation instructions are pretty simple, but since I started uh, doing this with an older computer in between jobs, um, I had a lot of fun uh, factory resetting this, ran into some issues, not having Xcode. So learn from my mistake. Make sure you have your dev environment set up properly to do this. So obviously there's going to be different installations depending on if you're using Linux or Mac. Um, those are included in the blog post, so definitely check that out. I won't walk through that completely, but basically you're going to make sure you have Node.js installed. You're going to clone the repository for Fluff D. Um, you're going to execute an NPM install, download all the dependencies, and then pretty much go from there. Ideally, that worked smoothly for you. You didn't bang your head against a wall with a bunch of Stack Overflow articles. I tried to figure out why I was getting all these errors. Turns out I didn't have Xcode because I factory reset this thing. So step two we are going to open Fluff D. Now you can turn your Furby on. I know it's very exciting. Otherwise it will not be able to connect. Also something I banged my head against a wall for a while with. So I put my Furby to sleep. Let's wake him up. Sometimes it takes a second. Oh, hey Furby, what's up? All right, so your Furby is on. Once, mm -hmm. <laughs> so once you're all set with Fluff D and your Furby is on, you can launch it with, it'll shut up in a second, I promise. You're gonna just want to type in node Fluff D dot JS. All right, now it's finally quiet. So you'll see your terminal is scanning for devices listed as Furby and connecting to them. Your Furby is probably shut up by this point. And then you're gonna wanna open another tab and type into your terminal, open fluffy client slash index.html. Awesome, so if that worked correctly and you have everything set up correctly, you're going to see a screen that has all sorts of different options that you can play with your Furby with. Um, the first one on here obviously is antenna color. That's a really good one to get started with since it's simple, you can make sure it's working. So I'm going to change the color of the antenna to blue. All right, can't really see it on the screen here, but I promise it's blue. <laughs> and then, uh, then you can do some other things. They have some pre-programmed actions in here. So I'm going to click on that and I can make it giggle. I can make it uh, puke. Uh, I can also um, make it say a name. Ada. Apparently its name is Ada. Um, so if you look in the Furby documentation, there's all sorts of different fun things about changing its name. Um, there's a lot of different combinations. In fact, I think you can name your Furby Doodoo. Um, so definitely check out those. The documentation is really going to be your friend here. Now that we are connected with Bluetooth to our Furby, you can kind of take it from here. I would recommend first starting with antenna color, pressing on all the pre-programmed actions that are provided, and then after you've done that, familiarize yourself with what Fluff D actually lets you do. So the documentation has all sorts of info. It has a Furbish dictionary. Um, you can find out what do utai means. Spoiler alert, it translates to what's up but there's also actions. So if you go over to actions on your computer, you can learn more about the specific format of Furby's actions. So basically there's a couple different numbers you're gonna use in order to have Furby do specific actions. Those are input, index, subindex, and specific action. I recommend opening this Furby action list um, in a separate window or a tab and just having fun and exploring what you can do with your Furby. So if you navigate over to the actions page, um, you'll see that there's an area where you put four different number inputs. And I'll just walk you through a couple of my favorites that I discovered. Um, so this one is my absolute favorite. You can make Furby say yas. Yes. Yes. 
Love it. Um, you can also make your Furby cry and say YOLO. I'm not really sure what emotion uh, this is, but I guess that's when you're only living once, but you're really sad about it. <laughs> YOLO, you only live once. So you'll want to check out the documentation. Um, there's a whole section on farting and burping, which I think is probably the only documentation that goes into that much detail on farting and burping. Um, among one of my favorite actions that Furby can do is you can make him fart to the tune of it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing and then say jazz fart. See, I told you. They just, they don't have context. They don't know where it comes from. So there's all sorts of fun things you can do. I imagine the most fun scenario for using this is first of all, to show it off to your friends, make your Furby say yas to your friends. Um, but also if you have a kid, this could be really, really fun to interact with the Furby um, and make them think your Furby is actually having a conversation with them. Like maybe you want your kid to go to bed and you can make Furby go to bed. There's a lot of fun to be had here. So if you're not familiar, I come from a musical theater background. So when I first saw in the documentation that this little Furby can sing Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, I tried playing around with what I could make him sing. Um, so I discovered that I can enter in different notes, but I have to press enter each time, type them in. So my next step here is I wanna make a Furby piano. So definitely keep an eye out on GitHub and on my YouTube list for that. Um, but I can make it sing Dua Lipa's I've got new rules, um, which I will attempt to do now very slowly so you have an idea of, of what Furby's capable of. So are you excited to see all the cool things people code with you, Furby? Yes, very yes. Cool. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. Please like and subscribe or follow me on Medium or Twitter to get more updates on the next steps of my Furby hacking. Bye!